Hello and welcome everyone to the fifth game of this series, Switzerland versus Mexico. Today with me is Tome. Hi. Hello everyone. We're already back. Yeah. Um, and had a good break. Yeah, it was a good break. Caught some pizza, mm -hmm. drank some water, and back to the next game because yeah. this is the first of three games where Switzerland could note this down as a match one. Yeah. Because right now we're at three to one for Switzerland. Yay. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a Vietnam flashback for Switzerland because <laughs> the last time we, we had a situation like this, we gloriously lost against Japan. We went from 3-1 to 3-4. Yeah. So we will have to see how good it's going to be this time. The first match here is Fabian with his lovely scum jank against some Republic Aces. And afterwards, if that wasn't enough, we will have Ruffy with his resistance aces against some, well, rebels, actually. <laughs> um, you want to go to, through the list? Yeah, I suppose that's a good start. Yeah. You will start with Fabi or Morales? Let's start with uh, Morales' list because we know Fabian's lists are always special. Yeah. <laughs> so... We have Morales on the right side with Anakin Skywalker, Brilliant Evasion, Markmanship, Auto Blaster, R7, A7, Stealth Device. Rick Ollier. I mean, I, I sorry? If we go to Anakin first, because I, I think this is something that's important. This Anakin, it's, it's like kind of a standard build, but keep in mind, this Anakin loves to have something in his bullseye. And Fabi has two big base or medium base ships. So this is going to be very important. Yeah. Then we have Ricolier with R2 Astromech and Obi-Wan Kenobi with Sans and Delta 7B. Yeah, three aces. Three aces, but Obi-Wan is only on two green dice. Um, yeah. Sense is not going to matter too much in this matchup, I suppose, because Fabian will fly first, anyways. Yeah. Rick, um, Regen. So he's hard to catch. And when you catch him, you really have to make sure he's dead. Otherwise, he's going to come back to you and bite you in the ass. So, all in all, um, if Arak knows how to fly this list, it's going to be a hard match for Fabian. Yeah, of course, yeah. And on the left side with Fabi, we have the old Terok, Torani with Cutthroat, Cluster Missiles and Force Transponder Codes, Zuckus with Sam Mist Hunter and Jamming Beam, and Gamut with Protector Clap and Thermal Detonators. Yeah, it's scum. Scum list, Fabi like. It's, it's a typical scum list and it's a typical uh, Fabi list. I know he's not too happy with old Terok. Um, it's a ship he's not too used to flying. Um, the last time went really well, if you remember, Fabian yeah. played a number three Aces list. Yeah. Um, but I think this Aces list will be a lot more defensive than the one Fabian played the last time. And uh, all Terok therefore has to be cautious because, yeah, all Terok doesn't like crits. And guess what? Anakin likes to give crits. So, yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Um, but we, we can't forget about the thermal detonators on Gamut and yeah. the coordination ability on Gamut. This is yeah. something that's very important against Aces to, to pull off special blocks or give you more actions. Yeah. Suckers as usual with Sam. I mean, nobody really likes to shoot that because you know what's going to happen. You don't want to get shot by Suckers because, oh boy, that can go wrong. And mm. Tarani. Tarani is a lovely little ship. I mean, do Aces want to go in his bullseye? Uh, I don't think so. No. There's a big death zone right uh, <laughs> around Tarani. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I mean... It's a typical Fabian list, isn't it? Yeah, sure, yeah. 
you read it and you forget what you can make. So it's <laughs> Fabian loves his jank. And that's fine because he really knows how to play it. Mm. And he's always working on the lists, adjusting them slightly, making them slightly different, but he knows how to play these lists. So that's a big advantage in my opinion. Yeah. So, time is started. We see a very typical ace start. Yeah. I mean, nothing has been revealed there. Um, he will be playing cautious. I mean, neither of those ships is going to fly straight at Fabian. Well, at least I don't think so. Yeah. Fabian nope. is keeping his ships together. As far as I can see, Sakas with Gamut to, to be able to coordinate. Tarani um, to like push Anakin back there because Anakin doesn't want to get close to Tarani. Anakin needs his stealth device, and Tarani is a good way of removing that stealth device. Yeah. So, Rick Oliev, it's a ship that is, it likes to go fast, but it doesn't have to go fast. Sometimes Rick Oliev can be kind of a trap. It depends a lot on pay, player skill, because who doesn't love the, the free evade and the plus dice? But you have to be faster than your opponent. I mean, Rick Ollier's uh, ability, if you remember, Martin. Yep, I remember. The people who do not um, remember, while Rick Ollier defends or attacks, um, if the speed he revealed is higher than the enemy's ship speed, he gets one additional die. So if he goes fast, he has three reds and three greens. If he's slow, well, most likely he's dead. That's yeah. just the way it <laughs> goes. Uh, in my experience, mostly that, but that's mostly me. <laughs> Too slow? Uh, not exactly. I'm one of the... Well, I haven't played him in like a year, but when he came out, I was quite fresh with X-Wing, and I was always like, yeah, I have to fly him fast because I want that evade. And that's something you have to know when to switch back to the slow pace. Yeah. We will see how Fabian copes with the pressure of, like, um, it's not the game deciding, um, well, not the series deciding game, but we know all that Lex would love to be the decider on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Probably no pressure on you, all pressures on Lex, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, what do you like, think about the start here? Uh, um, Fabi goes straight to the middle and take the position. I, I like that because he he can just he can try, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Morales aces things. He can go <laughs> everywhere he wants. <laughs> Um, yeah, he can go in, he can, can go out, so he's fine at the moment. I mean, if you look at the board state right now, then you see that Fabi has uh, kept his ships close. Yeah. Gamut is in coordination range. Uh, but you also can see that Obi-Wan is in kind of a flanking position to Terok, so we'll see how Fabi reacts to that. Is he using all Terok as a bait to get Obi in there? Or not? And here we see Anakin's shenanigans, as usual, barrel mm. rolling. Um, that's the difference between the Delta 7B and the Eta. Delta 7B movement phase shenanigans, Eta, well, system phase. I really do like those two ships. Yeah, and it's just enough to be in the mat. back. Uh, so. There we go, suckers lining up if Obi was too greedy and got in there. Yeah. But I suspect Obi went for like uh, a one bank to the left. Yeah. He must but because you never know. You never know. You you have to kind of react to this with Fabi's yeah. list. Sure, there's it's the old bait and switch with aces, but I I really do like that Tarani is on the side of Anakin because this is like 
deterring Anakin of trying to slip through because if Anakin happens to land in that bullseye. Yeah. And old Torak, go fast. Well, oh, keeping him focused. Focused. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Post. the lovely thing about old Torak is normally he's like an ace in Fabi's list, but in this case, well, he's not. But he's still a tank fighter, so he wants to get up close and in the face because that's where he feels comfortable. Oh, please, any is not going like a two bank. Uh huh. There you see, once again, getting that free of eight because never ever forget, Rick Ollier is not able to do an evade action except if he goes fast. Yeah, he hasn't got the evade on the action bar, and I've seen a lot of Ricoliers dying due to that, because people <laughs> are so used to them getting evades that they don't realize until it's too late. Um, yeah, and Lex is in the chat, and he's happy with the pressure. He will become. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Lex yeah. Lex with pressure. Hey, he, he needs that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he needs that. Against his favorite uh, matchup, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> He will never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Um, should be all... Oh, we see the first shot here. Range 3. Who would have thought? Uh, 3 so against 5. Off. Right? Yes. 3 against. And 2 hits. 2 hits is solid, um, but 5 dice with force is um, a tough yeah. launch crack. To be honest. Shouldn't go of anything through. Easy. Oh, easy peasy. Enough. Yeah, with uh, a range free shot that Anakin with stealth device in the E toys. Yeah. But you know, green dice can blank. Yeah. Likely, but it can happen. So, first shot. Well, kind of first shot. Yeah. Um... He didn't expect Fabi to go as aggressive with Old Herok. What I really like here is Torani. Torani has now the option to go either way. Yeah. Here was uh, the charge spent from Gamut. So, Old Tarok or. Uh, Old Tarok keeps the focus for next that round. That is a very good call because this allows Fabi a lot a more options yeah. and it's putting pressure on Anakin. Yeah. Because now Old Tarok is there and saying, hey, buddy. Whatever I can get is still going to get a target lock and a focus thrown at it with three dice and maybe being very close. Mm -hmm. But I like the position of Fabi now. He's, he gives the pressure and comes in. And yeah, and especially with Alteroc with the focus now, he doesn't have to stress himself yeah. for what he focus. He could barrel roll, he could boost, he could target lock. All the options are there. Yeah. And I... What would you do here with old Tarok? Are you going all in to, to put more pressure or get in their back? Maybe a... I, I think I, I would go uh, three bank to the right and, and take the target so. lock. Uh, maybe three bank with a boost because then you're behind that gas cloud, you're pushing Anakin further away. Maybe you get Rick Ollier, maybe you get another shot at Anakin. Yeah, but target lock for later isn't bad enough, uh, uh, either, so... <laughs> yeah, with, with aces, this is always a gamble with the target locks, yeah. because the switch... I mean, if he gets a nice shot on Anakin and, and can remove that stealth device, that mm -hmm. could be crucial. Yeah. Because Anakin is, is worth a lot of points. His... Anakin alone is 73. Yeah. Obi-Wan is also 74. Um, mm. This would allow Fabi to lose one full ship and still be on top. Yeah. Yes, one. I mean, that's that's the life of the Aces. Their ship costs a lot. You have to yeah. be cautious. What will you do with morals when you will with, the, with his ships? You have to go out. Well, right? he, 
it's not an engagement you want to have right mm-hmm. now because Ray Collier has to get out of there. Three hard to the left? Probably, yes. Obi-Wan Kenobi can go for the flank. Yeah. Keep on moving down that flank. I mean, Suck is here. Two, two three on, straight, though. It depends. Because don't forget that Gamut could potentially coordinate. Yeah. And Suck is, is allowed to barrel roll. Yeah. So if Fabi goes for that and barrel rolls him, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Forget all everything. My <laughs> Ignore all my rambling. That's why I'm here for. Yeah, but still, Obi can go down that flank, tries to get in the back. Rick Ollier, three left. Anakin now has two options. Um, yeah. He has to find, like, get out of there because Anakin needs space to move and breathe. Mm hmm. Um, here was the coordination, the focus to Torani, and with um, which was Caleb, Cleb, Cleb, you can give Clap. the stress to the coordinated chip. And here we have a target lock. Yeah, well, in this case, uh, Torani made the free straight, so he didn't give the stress away, but Torani just removed the stress with. Uh, flying blue. Oh, jam. It's actually a nice thing on the Jedi mm-hmm. because you don't want them to. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. This is the posi- position I want to run in. At uh, Ronnie, yeah. all terror. <laughs> I like because the position of Fabi right now for yeah. the next round too. Yeah, it's putting so much pressure on mm-hmm. on the aces here because they're all bunched up in one corner. This is where how you want to catch aces. With their back to the wall, not a lot of ways Ooh. to get out of there. He's coming in, yeah. Yeah, this is probably... I mean... He hasn't got a lot of options in that regard. Oh, Obi-Wan comes in as well. That, I mean, now that Rick mm-hmm. Ollier is in front of Marcus, the question is, will he shoot at Rick Ollier or does he go for Obi-Wan? Because if he goes for Obi-Wan with Succus, that is a tasty target. Ooh. I didn't expect that from any that, that is ballsy, to say the least. <laughs> because range one against old Terok. Mm-hmm. Is he in the bullseye of? No, he's not. I think he's out. Of Torani. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's out. Yeah, he's out. But that is a ballsy move. But uh, to coming back to Suckers, Suckers could now shoot with four against three dice on Obi. Mm-hmm. And yeah. That could hurt, because there's a focus there. Ooh. Barrel rolling out. Still in arc? Still in arc, but probably not range 1. No, which no, is one. Yeah, quite but... uh, Something that is very important to keep in mind with the ETOS. Yes, they can barrel roll or boost in the system phase, but they can't do the same action again later. Yeah. If you boost in the system phase, you will not be able to boost again later. Yeah. Very easy to forget. So keep your mind on. But yeah. So the jam token doesn't matter, but it kept him from getting a focus. So four star of that Anakin, Fabian. Four star of him. Plus, he's not Ooh. in. Oof. Yeah, Don't he's not in anything. No, no, no. He's not in the bullseye, so... Yeah. That's the problem with but Anakin. the exam card it. is... You should thank me. Recover, take a target lock. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't expect yeah. to, to shoot at Sam, so... 
Uh, Zuckers, uh, but... Yeah. Maybe you forgot about Sam. Yeah. Um, he sucks. Okay, old Tarok now. Range <laughs> 2 in Anakin. I mean, it's still... With the focus, it's three hits. Three hits, against yeah. Against four dice. Anakin has to get the the three of eight. Otherwise, his stealth device is gone. Um, he gets spend the force? force? Yeah, you spend the force here, yeah. definitely. You want to keep that stealth device. <laughs> yeah. In that position. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Faded, but oh, Old Tarok him, did yeah. his job. Old Tarok is in the back of these guys. Obi range two into Thakas. That's so, three red ones against one. One green. But um, Sam will. Oh no. Uh, this is a familiar picture for Team Mexico, <laughs> and for everybody that has watched the match before. Um, the amount of beer we owe Mexico gets oh. higher and higher. Oh, oh no. Oh, so unlucky. Oh. Oh. Six red yeah. dice rolled and one. Oh, uh, for oh. one force, one and. Yeah. Oh, I would you not wait. have spent that force. Uh, I don't know, Obi. So... Oh no. So, Rick Ollier. Uh The fun part about Rick, he flew faster than Suckers, if I remember correctly. Because Suckers uh, did go straight, yep. so that's four red ones. Two crits, and one go through okay. with shield. Did Fabio roll? An evade every time of Suckers? No, first time not, but they have okay. no hits. <laughs> <laughs> so now Anakin will get focused down. That's what Fabi tells us. We're going to yeah. force starve that Anakin. We're going to remove that stealth device. We're going to hurt this guy so, so bad. Target lock. Target lock. Focus. Spends the focus. Three hits. Yeah, that Anakin there is in a very and bad position. Yeah, <laughs> last force. Last force, yeah, you, have you have to spend. To spend. It. Yeah, because otherwise, I mean, you will never be allowed to turn more than one dice, so go for the free. Keep that stealth device. Yeah. It's one additional die. It could make the difference. Second attack on Rick. Um, hit crit. It's hit quite crit. good, yeah, for. Um, nothing. So, Spence, one evade and get the. Crit. First, yeah, first shield. shield away first from. Shield yeah. yeah, that didn't go too well and for the Ace. Huh? Yeah, Range two into. Yeah, four against five. If that would have been a range one shot, oh boy. Yeah. Um, it's four dice for Suckers and mm. four for Anakin. Not one more for. No, uh, it's plus one. Yeah, because Suckers. five. Yeah. And three hits. It's still three hits. Anakin has no modifications. Yeah. He needs to roll Nettis now. Uh, to be honest, it's okay if he rolls Nettis. Yeah. After the last game, we, <laughs> we can live with some Nettis on the Mexican dice. <laughs> Only uh, one. I mean, that's stealth device and two shields gone from Anakin. Yeah. Uh, oh, Anakin no, no. hasn't any shields. Oh, Anakin is on one half. This is Eta! Oh boy! Yeah. This is why Eta's hurt! Anakin is on one half and give up half that's points. Half points. half points, yeah. Yeah, that's... And it's not finished yet. No, Gamut is still incoming. Yeah. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, that... Uh, I mean... Fabi rolled... Okay. There were some blanks on the Mexican dice, but in the end, here the problem is the positioning. Yeah. Period. It's nothing to discuss about. Um, he has parked Anakin right in front of three ships shooting at him. I mm -hmm. mean, if you look at the position of the ships, Fabian has flanked, while the ace is pretty much jousted. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he hasn't arc dodged anything. And he jousted yeah. with, with Anakin and Rigolier. I mean, Bobby did well. He pushed him aggressively into that corner. 
Arak went with that, and yeah, this is the yeah. end result. Ekin yeah. is down to one call. He has to get out of there. I mean, how do you get out of there? That's the question now. Can he get out of there? It's I hard. Mean, you can you can pour three bank to the right and bump into Torani and hope. <laughs> oh, that's a bad plan because Gamut is there. Um, I mean, Sakis could stay where he is. Yeah. He could do that. It's not enough space for the 2k. You can go to Obi too hard to the right with Sakas. Oh, I mean, I would be ballsy. I would use Gamut to maybe... Ah, no, you can't do that. Well, no, you can't. You could barrel all suckers, couldn't you? To the left? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can. I will show. I mean, you could yeah. barrel all suckers yeah. to the left and to the 2k. Does it fit? No. You will bump into ships. You go, don't get so far to the left. Okay. Yeah, what if you barrel roll to the front? No, you will bump into Anarchy. Yeah, you bump into Anakin. But nonetheless, I mean, Torani you can, can come in. You can barrel to the, and, and take it to hard then, so you will block everything with there, so... That is true. Torani could do the... There's a lot right. of options. But you can yeah. uh, you can come with like obvious positioning. Yeah, I mean the Fang Fighter is gonna do um, a one heart. Sorry, sorry, I was. The Fang Fighter is going to go for the one heart. Yeah, keeps a lot of arcs open. There's no real reason to do anything else here. The one heart fits. Um, take focus or coordinate focus, whatever you want, all of it possible. Torani. Come in here, maybe to block. Has Tronny one heart? Ape roots. Oh. Tronny has one heart, but that would be a red. Oh, yeah. But still, blocking. Yeah. I mean, Ricolier has to get out of there, and Ricolier is going to do that with probably a fast maneuver. Gamut. Yeah, one straight, maybe. Yeah, but Could Rick fit. Ollier has to go right away. Probably, yes, because he hasn't yeah. got a lot of Straight, options. you will go over the, the asteroid. I mean, but yeah, Sarkis you can. Has to, Sarkis could do the one bank. Just to threaten Obi and get Obi Wan out of there. Yeah. Now we will see what's happening. I mean, Anakin is system phase. Does he use Anakin? I mean, he could go he for too. <laughs> the barrel roll or the boost. He's barrel going for the barrel. To the right. Yeah, and then block. straight through. No, he goes probably straight through this. Yeah. And he's out, and that's good for uh, Morales. I would have thought oh, about. Ah, uh, never forget. <laughs> yeah, Bobby <laughs> saw that coming. <laughs> Um, coordinate circus, a uh, barrel roll. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so, oh boy, Anakin. And the 4K. Oh yeah, the 4K. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. One lovely heart. Family. One heart of Tarani to block. Mm -hmm. So Anakin is going to bump most likely. Bump from That's Tarani. That's the problem now, Alterok bumps. Yeah. I don't think that this is too bad. Yeah. I don't see anyone really shooting at all, Terok. So, bump. It's fine. All Terok has done a good job in threatening Anakin. Ricolier is going to um, reach him. regen. Has to. Yeah. Has to recuperate the shield. Mm -hmm. Well, still not a place where you want to end up. Because he's going to get shot that way right now. 
Yeah, you can barrel, right? Nah, you can't. Mm, gas, cloud, he could fit. Ah, he Boosting boosts. out. But he's still in I arc. Don't, yeah, I don't know if this was the right call. I think I would have tried to barrel. Obi, go Obi for straight. Stays out. Stays out. He has to. Obi Wan still can turn this game. And Obi Wan flown well with sense is so good and painful. He had to move there because if he stood still, then Torani would have had a field day. Yeah. Probably bullseye. Well done by Fabian. So the question now. I mean, Obi Wan is so good. His ability is so strong with the focus. If Anakin had taken a focus last turn, it wouldn't have helped him because it was jammed. Mm -hmm. So all well done by Fabian. Yeah, and target lock from Obi. 4k doesn't fit with Anakin. Oh. Stressed Anakin. Yes, and he has no force to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, that Anakin is struggling because... But only Tarkas will shoot at him. Yeah, but he's got no force. He's got no stealth device. Yeah, yeah sure, but... Lives and dies by the green dice. And don't forget, next turn, Anakin can't do anything in the system phase. Yeah. So no double reposition at all. No shots for oh, Tark. That's fine. Range 2 shot into Gamut from Obi. Three against two. I, I don't understand why Arak went into that into that corner. Man. Target lock or Yeah, target lock from Obi. Rolls both. Yeah, because Obi doesn't want to spend four. Yeah. And now. hit crit. I mean that's that's good. Yeah. Well yeah. shields on. It's it's one step forward. One step at a time, one step at a time. Range 2 from Torani into Obi. It's 3 dice against 2, so we could lose some shields. <laughs> He's going to lose some shields here. Yeah. Sorry Mexicans, we owe you even more beer. Yeah, and he loses oh. everything, half points on Obi. Oh uh. boy. That is a rough start here. Yeah. I mean, three shields gone in one shot by Torani. That is, that is painful. Yeah. And it's not over yet, the round, so. It's not over yet because now there's an Anakin. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you shoot at, you shoot at yeah. Anakin, yeah. Four versus if four. If you can get Anakin off the board, yeah. Obi is on half points. Um, ignore Rick Ollier. Just ignore Rick. He's not important. Hit, hit, crit. Me. Yeah. And. Well, I mean, he could potentially evade this. Uh, is it one too much? No, he can't. He can't. No, because of suckers. Oh, yeah, right. Three plus one plus one. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't matter. He. Yeah. Gets hit, crit, and Anakin is off the board. Yeah. That's a big... And did nothing, so that's... Yeah. Ooh, add insult to injury, the crit was console fire. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, but... every crit on, on an Eta is bad. Yeah. <laughs> every damage on an Eta is bad. Yeah. I mean, and last shot into Rake for one crit. Doesn't then yeah, so he has any weight. He's safe. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but but now you see what I said. The, the Ata is fragile, and he flew him pretty much straight into the face of, oh. of a couple of sculptures. You see that? Yeah. Um, Gamut charges and spent for. Doesn't um, give away the. Um, yeah, tell me. The, the stress. Not the stress. The. Uh, uh, the thing with the. Orange token. Um, yeah. 
the disarm. Disarm token, yeah. So Ricola you can shoot next turn. Yeah, but this this is um This is gonna be hard for the Mexicans. Yeah. Can they come back from this? I I don't think so, to be honest. Because this is this is rough. His best endgame piece is it's gone. Anakin. Anakin is off the board without doing any damage yeah. at all. And these lovely crits, they would have hurt Tarani and Saka so bad. So now, what are you going to do as Fabian? I mean, he's got all the options here. Yeah. Um, all Terok, probably aiming around the cloud. Uh, Turani, well, Turani, typical Turani, has to get rid of stress, which is fine with Turani. The Kimogila can get rid of that. Um, maybe with the two bank, threaten Obi, make Obi go away. Could potentially Baron roll after that. We'll see. Yeah, Turani, two bank to the right. Turn in here on on Ricolier, Succus on the other hand. Succus is a little harder. Succus is stressed, so one or two straight. Yeah. But you have the time now. He has the time. I mean, time is definitely on, on Fabi's side here. Yeah. Half points on Obi, full points on Anakin. He's already 110 points. Mm -hmm. And here's the, bo the bombs. Thermals. I mean, Fabi would need to lose Succus and Torani plus half points on Gamut. Just that, that the Mexican can go up in front again. Mm -hmm. And up to now, Fabi has lost one shield on Succus and two on Gamut. Yes. Oh, the thermal detonators. Yep. Yes. Ooh. I Lovely hope Morales thing. didn't forget this. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, the game will get even shorter, I think. One bank. Yeah, the Kamut. Mexican green dice were slightly below average, but the problem was mostly that these aces don't want to roll that many green dice. Mm -hmm. And this Anakin had to roll way too many green dice in the first two fights. That should not have happened. Yeah. That's just the main problem here. With an aces list, you mm. don't want to get shot at. And this is... Fabi go for Obi. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Obi is boxed in there. Mm -hmm. One straight, removing the stress. Little circus. Exactly. Take so the target lock. Go? Yeah, Obi has to run away. I mean, I don't want to count Arak out, but it's very hard coming back from this. Yeah. Because it's just Fabi has all the options now. Fabi's putting down all the target locks. He's chasing these aces. Mm -hmm. Volterok, with the heart as expected, comes in prepares himself to either go after the lovely yellow Naboo Starfighter or turning in on Obi. Both options are fine for him. Better roll from Torak. Reinhardt, uh, 23. Okay. Forcing Rick to keep his weapons disabled tokens. Yeah. The funniest and most unexpected thing I've seen in X-Wing in a while. I agree, but that's Fabi for you. <laughs> Fabian likes this strange game interactions and this is perfect I love it that he did that I really love that yeah I mean Rick Ollier is now not too bad off he's in a safe spot for now um, yeah. has some options for next turn the problem here is mostly that Rick Ollier would love to go why does he have to evade uh, from oh, last round we... and now yeah. Uh, the topic or the problem here is that Rick Ollier would love to go fast to, to get his, well, like four red dice in range one next turn, but he will not be able to. 
most likely. Because suckers can just stand still. So you have to barrel roll to the left with OB? You have to get out of there. Yeah. You have to get away from suckers. You have to get away from terror. You have to get away from Gamut. You don't want to get shot because this is the main problem here. He has been shot way too many times. Yeah. Barrel to the left, to the front, and then. And for the people coming late, we, we see here that Fabian has a lot of advantages, has already 110 points. Um, we saw an Anakin just briefly stepping by, uh, getting a little too many shots, and getting eaten by Succus, Turani, and Altero. Didn't mm -hmm. go so well. Turani takes a shield. Yeah. I mean, sorry, this is Torani. Torani can take a beating. Yeah. And another one. It's fine. The red dice are hot, so they can be hot on, on both of them. <laughs> but the way Fabi plays here in this matchup, it's beautiful. It's really everything makes sense. He has a plan. The plan is working. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's holding the initiative here. He's yeah. not reacting to the aces, he is pushing them still. From the beginning, yeah. he's taking the initiative, push them with their backs to the wall, and they can't recover from this. Yeah. So, range 3 from Terok into Obi for hit crit. It's fine. I mean, he had a focus. Yeah, Obi. Spend one fourth. So he's down on Astro. one. Because he get. He, he can't eat that crit right now. Yeah. Range 2 Obi, into range two. Gamut. I bet he was going for the range 1 shot. Oh, uh, yeah. You can't spend. You can't. You can't risk it because suckers will shoot you as well. Yeah. Obi evades. Yeah. No points. So Rick can't shoot, yeah, Alterani can't shoot, so it's down to the last one. Range 2. I was so close to range 1, yeah. oh boy. And 2 hits. And oh, 1 go through. Guys. That's the problem with the Delta 7B. The Delta mm -hmm. 7B has a high output in the offensive, but can't take a beating. Mm. Sam is in range 3. Sam would shoot twice, I think. Uh, circus, sorry. Oh, hit, hit, crit, crit. Well, um, yeah. this is going to be a short game. Sorry, Mexicans. Once again, we owe you even more beer. <laughs> My yeah. God, he was unmodified, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, that is rough. Oh, and yeah, he's gone. He's off the board. Uh, Hello there, General Kenobi. Yeah, I mean, the dice made it worse, but the main root cause for this situation is the aces were not cautious enough. They got caught in a bad position several times, and they got punished for this. Yeah. I mean, what can you say? I'm um, sorry. I know. Yeah, Fabian is now at 147 points. That means yep. that little Rick Ollier over there has to kill Torani, Succus, and Old Terror to win that game. Yeah, he has to kill everything. Well, no. no yeah. Um, Rick Ollier is still full health. Um, but uh, the problem there is, I mean, now that Obi is gone, yeah, Fabian can force down that one ship. If you have only one ace on the board, you, you really need to be very cautious and you can't be so much in the back. I mean, the points difference is so high. Yeah. And Rick Ollier has the problem of only having two red dice and two green dice, unless you're faster than the other ship or the ship that is shooting at you. 
So going fast and killing those ships doesn't necessarily work all too well. Yeah, <laughs> you won't get uh, an arc of Sarkis or Torani. Yeah. So. Young in the chat. Um, brutal. I yeah. hear beer. Yes, yes. <laughs> it is kind of the, the joke that we have because... Um, the last game and this game and several other situations were a little dicey in this uh, Switzerland versus Mexico fight. Yeah. And uh, the worse the dice get for the Mexicans, the more beer Switzerland owes to them. Yeah. I think by now we owe them a brewery, pretty much. <laughs> At least. Not the biggest one, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, they can have Felsch, question. Nobody's yeah. going to... Uh, <laughs> It tears over that, I suppose. <laughs> For me, no problem at all. So, I don't drink beer <laughs> or alcohol. Yeah. So, mm. what is Rick Ollier doing in this case? Um, you have to go in. The, other ones. the problem is, Sakis is probably going to stay where he is. Yeah. I mean, just to to keep Rick Ollier out. Sarkis can stay where he is to, if Ricolier goes for the greedy free part, he bumps. Yes. Um, Kamut, Kamut will come in. in. Yes. Yes. Uh, Altero can too hard. Out. Yes. It... This is probably yeah. the the point in time where you coordinate. Ah, the next Sarkis. Barrel, and it fits. Sarkis will take a, a, a turn, okay. a K turn. Yeah. And here is. Fabian wants to end this fast. Yeah. He doesn't want to bump him, he wants to. And let nothing him over the. Cloud. Get in front of Sarkis and get blown out of the sky. Yeah. Fabian is brutal today. Yeah. Run with the 4K to yeah. turn around and come back for another go. Alterok getting out of there, shedding the stress. Probably boost yeah. focus stress. Goes for the focus, plays it safe. Fabian wants to end this game on zero points. And he has for the three heart. You have so, to boost. Uh, yeah, now he has to boost out of there. Yeah, he then can't he, stay there. Then he's fine, right? Oh, he's fine. Is he now in range three of Torani Bullseye? Uh, it's close. Oh boy. Ooh, I think. Nope. Huh? Uh, oh, yes, he's, 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 he's in the bullseye. Oh, he's in no. the bullseye. No. Uh, so, one out of damage will come to Tyranny. Of the friendship between the two teams. Yeah, I think actually we really enjoy playing the Mexicans. They're really cool guys. Mm -hmm. Really. We're, we're feeling the pain of the dice sometimes for them, we really do. Because they are, they've shown great sportsmanship. They've taken these games, um, everyone that played them had a blast. Oh. At least one crit, so. Yes. Oh, oh here's the wait, yes, okay. But, oh, he has a green die. So he can remove the green die and he's safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, no damage here. No damage here, but, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yes. I mean, Tehran, Tehran, Tehran. Yeah. He, he was able to keep the damage off, but Rick is now in a very uh, precarious situation. He's flying towards Tehran, so he has to get out of there. But I mean... On the other hand, this is a very lovely position because he could catch Alterok. Alterok is now forced to to get out of there because a free heart would lo would fit perfectly in chasing Alterok down to get at least some points because that could matter. It's a tiebreaker. Yeah, but and not the first one. And, so. Oh, it's not the first one, but you, you have to get whatever you want because... Yeah. Rafi and I discussed this actually. Group E is kind of a crap bucket group. You know that expression, Martin? Nope. It's 
if you take a bucket and put a lot of crabs in there, they will try to climb out. But the problem is the crabs that are still on the lower levels will pinch the ones trying to climb out and pull them back to try to get out themselves. So in the end, no one gets out of the bucket. And this is the situation we have in Group E because everybody beats everyone. Yeah. In the end, it's going to be very close. So MOV could matter to get to the next yeah. stage. You never know because, like, we bet the Netherlands, the Netherlands won against Denmark, uh, Serbia won against France. <laughs> it's everybody wins against anyone. So uh, it's going to be very close in this group. Yeah. Um, so take the MOV where you can get it because yeah. winning that game is close to impossible. There's less than half an hour left on the clock. And that's why I, that it's, it's important that we win more than four games in this series. So that's is, the first tie break. Yeah, because Switzerland up to now, we've gone 3-4 and 4-3. So we're at 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. We need to win games too. Ooh. So where did Rick Ollier go? <laughs> Suddenly that free heart doesn't look too tasty anymore. <laughs> Takes the target lock. Yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't you? That's a lot of target locks. Oh, mm -hmm. is he going to barrel now? Because that could. Yes. yes. And he was faster than Torani. Torani did the one. Uh, didn't it? The one he, tank. Uh, he also. One got the two. That's nope. the reason why I don't play online, because I can't. No, it's one, it's one bank. From one bank. Ah. Isn't faster, so three against one. It's still better than nothing, and he <laughs> needs to get those points. Um, and one. Yeah, <laughs> they wait. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby had a lot of evades on those one mm -hmm. um, green dice. Doesn't change the game. I mean, this is now about getting points for the Mexicans. Yeah. And to be honest, they deserve some points. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He's in range. Range 3, <laughs> not obstructed. Not obstructed, but range 3. Range 3, not obstructed. It's that's crit. It. Yeah. It's crit. Of course. Oh, he doesn't even need the target lock. But he's safe. Close. I was close. Yeah, but Torani go for the 4K. Does it fit? Oh, that's always hard to say. I never play online, so. <laughs> that's not true. You play two times? Three times? Yeah, I think maybe two times. Maybe three times. Just not the same. Yeah. Yeah, the 4K is a little close, maybe, to Old Terror with the. Let me check. On the big base. Oh. No, well, he, he will bump. Will. He will bump. He should bump, actually. The lovely medium base ships. What you will do with Zuckers? I mean, Zuckers ah, does barrel bump. roll. Yeah. Coordinate barrel roll and go to the. Go for the hard. Two bank or something between the two rocks. I mean, all tarot has ah. to. Or the... you can do that. <laughs> as well. That's why Fabi is playing this list and not us. Yeah. We still got another 26 minutes to go where Fabian can hunt down this lovely, lovely little ace here. Yeah, um, this is the point where Fabi starts taking focus because he has taken all the targets lock, target lock he needs. Yeah. So, Ooh, and bumps. I, mean, ooh, I, I think this is the moment where Rick should have disengaged, to be honest. I think I would have flown out. Um, because yeah. um, trying to chase down whatever is just in front of you is not going to go. And it's, of course, in the range. Oh, and what did... Um... We will see. Oh, it's okay. Ah, target lock. 
Oh. Hit crit. Hit crit. It could be worse. Don't match. Rick has two nope. shields and no. Nope. Head. Had two shields. Had well, he two. can regen one of one. the shields. Yeah. He's still not half points, huh? Yes. Um, Rick shoots back into Terok. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That is adding insult to injury. I mean, how can he come back from this? I don't see it happening. No, no. He can't try to survive with Rick. And, and get points on the board. I will hope he get points on the board. Yeah, he I that. think he deserves some. What he had to do? Um, Gamut need one more damage. Um, Torani. Yeah, he would need one damage on Gamut. Um, oh, that's for Torani. Two or points. Torani. Yeah. It's I nine. Mean, he has, oh no, Torani lost only the shields so far. Yeah, Torani is undamaged except for shields. Sakas. Undamaged? We need four yeah. damage. No, he lost one shield. One, one shield, yeah, but. He would need to do four damage on Sakas. And two into yeah. all Tarok. Yeah, another two into all Tarok, another one into Gamut. Yeah, Gamut is the way you get points, I think, but. Another three into Turani. I mean, mm. actually, he should be able to push some damage through. Go for Turani or, or Gamut or Taro. Yeah. Marcus is untouchable for you, so take one of those. Get some MOV. Get some points for the Mexicans. They deserve it. Yeah. So that, that takes a lot of pressure off of Lex and, and Ruffy, actually. Yeah, next game. Yeah, not not a lot, a little. Less. No, no, it takes a lot of pressure oh. off because, like, now it's not the game either. It's more like, it's yeah, the... we get more points, which is important, but it's not the same thing anymore. No, no. let the pressure be on, on, on Lex. That's, that's be fair. <laughs> if we don't get into the not next stage, we just push it on Lex. It's his fault. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> Lex needs that. The pressure he needs, the pressure he needs. He really does. Yeah, he loved that that position. Man, these aces should not have gone straight into the fight. I mean, if you roll back to that position that Anakin was in, that's just like trusting your green dice, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, a, a lovely little kill box. Yeah. No matter where that Rick Olier goes, goes, he gets the shot. Well, except the five straight. And here's the two bank. Well, that's the option to get shot by everyone. <laughs> yeah. That's the, the... Well, that's a painful option. And it's only a two... Beat maneuver. Mm -hmm. Fabian has done twos and fours. Yeah, so. So no bonus dice. And to range you. one into all Terok, so. I mean, one range rate. one into all Terok is, is painful anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. But staying there in front of all Terok, well, at least all Terok has only a target lock. Okay. Yeah, boosts out. It will not be better, so with Sam. It's one shot less. No, it really is better than getting one shot by... Um... Yeah, but Sam can make the double tap, so... Yes, but he was in range of uh, suckers anyway. Yeah, but not in the firing arc. Well, I think he was, actually. No, uh, he hadn't suckers in the firing arc, so... 
Uh, one hit, one evade. Here comes the, the shot back. Here comes the painful part. Torani yeah. first, or just go? No, Sakas, uh, Sam's shot. Oh, yeah, Sam. Yeah. Two and two evades. It's on you, Ray Collier. Range three. Now, Torani. I always forget about Sam somehow. I really shouldn't. Hit his crit. He didn't even need his target lock. Yeah, or he focus, yeah. Um, he, he was double modified, so it's justified to have those three red ones there, but it's it feels painful. Hit, crit, direct hit ends the game, right? Uh, yes. And it is... Fuel leak. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, doesn't really matter anymore. And now, Zakas. Yeah, Zakas with four dice against. And focus. Two. Three hits against two. He's. That's that's it, right? That's game. Uh, he has only two. Why does he roll three? Ah, oh, Zakas. Zakas gives him one dice. Ah, and it's yeah. the Latins. Yes! <laughs> Rick lives! Oh, I be yeah. For yeah. The other team, but I really am. <laughs> I'm feeling this so much because it's it's really that was a hard one. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I I really hope he gets some points here. But how? Um, oh man, that first will go away. I can't get it out of my mind. That first engagement was yeah. so rough. He he should fly away, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, where do you want to run to? Because they're slowly circling on you. Yeah. And he's actually regening. Maybe a five straight, just to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Just say, fuck it. Go for the five straight. Regen, five straight, get out of there. Try to get half points on Gamut later. I mean, that's just one shot. Yeah. He needs one sh good shot on Gamut. One sh shot, two hits, and that's enough. It could be enough. It could be. Do you spend with Gamut the, the bombs now? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. does. <laughs> <laughs> At least one. Yeah. Ah, but he goes for both. No turbos after this? Just use all of it. It yeah. doesn't matter anymore. Get it out of the system. Throw them out. Be safe, be sure. Coordinate. Harry lock on Rick. Yeah. So, Rick has collected Ooh. all the target <laughs> off. Yeah, I mean... Um, yeah. Nothing oh, over the cloud. Let me see that disarm into a five straight. And then maybe Two even bank. barrel. Oh. Yeah, that was clear. Toronto is mm. coming in. Altair turning around. Yeah, they're really, they're really hunting that Ooh. trick. Oh, goes for the. Okay, that's an interesting move. Says I don't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Let's end this. Goes probably for the shot into Altair. It's it's range three. He was faster. Yes, but still range three. No, but in Altair, no. He... They did. He went for a three speed maneuver. Old Tarok went for the. Let me really check. Yeah, two. It's a two talent roll, right? Yeah. yeah and he's so three. it will be three against three dice. Yeah, range three. Range three. Yeah, if it was if it wasn't range two, then it would be lovely. Mm -hmm. But that way it's. Three and nothing. Four. 
We can that. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, yeah, asked. Oh, nice. He asked for the target lock, so. But. Yeah, they forgot yeah. about the bombs, yeah. but they don't matter. Yeah, that's exactly. This This is the way we've experienced the Mexican players. He even reminded yeah. him about the target lock to kill his own ship. Yeah. These guys are lovely and they are very nice to play against. Yeah. Absolutely. This is the way X-Wing was meant to be played, together, yeah. even though yeah. you're opponents. Would you go range 1 or go into all I mean... I would probably go for... He's got no target lock and nothing. Rafi could tell us the probabilities, but... Probably he goes into Thakas, range 1. And that's what I wanted nope. to say. Go into Spuckus. I don't know. Two hits. That's uh, one. Shouldn't we have one more dice? Um, no, 4K. 4K. Oh, 4K. Yeah. It was not enough to, but, to get uh, points. But two hits. Yeah, um, I mean, it's two hits. It's two hits. Yeah. But it's no points. That's the problem. We roll one and there's three. Range three and was faster, so this oh, ooh, it's safe. Enough. It's yeah, safe. It's... One more round. Something is wrong with us, Martin. We're fanboying for the Mexicans. Of course. Yeah, we have to. He needs to get those points. Yeah. Kamut is out, so he doesn't get the points from Kamut, so he has to half anything else uh, Tsakos has three head needs two more Turani has two needs three more so you go mm, properly Tsakos now yeah try it you need because to get those Tsakos is, is going away from you Everything is going away from him, or yeah. coming towards him, and he needs to be kind of fast to, to get something, and he needs to fly blue, most likely. What the fast blue about maneuvers? Well, in uh, this case, blue... The, three blue bank, like, three, three straight, that's yeah. the... No, you don't want to do those. <laughs> <laughs> Both Alterok and Rani could block those. On the other hand, it can't be like punished too much. But Fabi's a genius sometimes. Oh yes. He he has these odd maneuvers and and stuff that nobody expects, like that disarm keeping on Rick. <laughs> Focus on suckers. Always mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Good choice. And ready for the two K next turn. Too bad. Could, I mean, Fabi is normally planning a couple of rounds in advance mm -hmm. in his mind. So in this case, I suspect he's circling and he has all that together to do the 2K. And get some arc on, on Rick. Yeah, let's see where Rick went. Come on, Rick, go fast! Ah, uh, barrel roll for trying to block. Any slow maneuver, yes. Ah, yes. Rick went fast. Rick Three and bank. all his target locks. Uh, Rick and all his target locks. Does he take a target lock himself? Can he even do that? He could take a target lock. Yeah. I mean, he's not he going to get shot at. Yeah. On the other hand, the barrel roll to the outer... Edge Give you a lot more space, long. yeah. Gives you more space for the next round. Yeah. And wouldn't possibly block the the three heart from Terok. Zakas can't go in with with the two heart or he will land on the rock, so Yeah, but Zakas could go for the two K. Yeah. Once again. It's a very lovely maneuver on that ship. 
Yeah, this he is, could, this uh, he could reach in at too. this moment. Uh, he should have, yes. Yeah. All about it. Would you go for half points or go for living with Rick now? Ten I mean, does it matter if you live? Are you? We have ten minutes left on the clock. Yeah. We're still at that point where Rick has given half points, so that means everything of Fabian has to die and Gamut has to be taken down to half. Ten yeah. minutes not gonna happen. So yeah. So. Don't try to live. Just get half points somewhere. Okay. Just get that, no matter what. I mean, maybe go for... Yeah, it's, it's common. Suckers. No, it's the easiest. Yeah, the problem is... How can you... Probably the three, three hard is yeah. the way to go here. 2k from Suckers. As expected. Yeah. Go for 4K the three hard. 4k from Torani, maybe, yeah. Yes, 4k from Torani. Two hard, for, uh, maybe arrow, from Torani. Hard. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. One hard. <laughs> and now three. Two hard left. Oh. It's not even Goes in faster. there, tries to focus down. But range one to all terror. I mean, the three hard would have been better. Sorry? Three hard would probably have been better. Yeah. Battle rolls into Sucker's Arc to not have an obstructed shot. In the end, I would have loved if he went for the free hard, took the focus, shot at Sucker's. Yes, you take the Tarok shot, and I think he takes the Tarok shot as well. Uh, which one is that? Oh, that's all Tarok. That is Tarok versus yeah. Rick. No, and that's. Especially since. Uh, Rick actually, or is it Sockers? No, well, Tarok it's Tarok. Is in, it's Tarok. But I mean, Rick wouldn't have rolled three greens in this case. He was faster. They both went for the two. Tarok for he, the one. Ah, oh, yeah, I did the hard one. <laughs> I want to do the hard two because exactly of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, this is 200 points for Fabian. Now the only question is, is he able to half Sockers? Yeah. I mean, he needs to push through two damage. Two damage need to go through. Come on, Rick, you can do this. Yeah. This is why I wanted to go for the free heart, because the free heart would have given you the advantage of the speed. You could have even mm. gone all in, trusted your dice, and boosted in after the free heart. The free heart would be on the rock, maybe, but the three bank and uh, boost. I don't think so. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Arrow, don't forget that. Now they are. Um, fuel leak will trigger, that's sure. But it yes. doesn't matter. Nothing. The, crits, really matter. Th the crits can matter. Weapons, weapons failure. Weapons failure could matter, but it's yeah. like, yeah. It's a dead one, anyways. Yeah. A little anticlimactic, one could say. Huh. Is he disconnected? I'm not sure. Nope, nope, he's not disconnected. Good huh. game for Southwest Germany. Well... What? What? <laughs> In the chat. Um, Dodo yeah. Baudi. Yeah, Mexico well played. Uh, I mean, except engage the engagement. Yeah. Ah, the engagement. I, I, I play aces very often. I like to play aces, and that engagement hurts. That engagement was the opposite of what we had in the first game today. This engagement broke his neck. Mm -hmm. 
and it broke Anakin really, really bad. Yeah, but it was really way, well played from Fabi to it was give the pressure from the first turn on. Yeah. He took the initiative and yeah. forced it down their throat. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, hi, Fabi. No return shot from Rick? Doesn't matter. Half it points? Does Half it? Points. Half points? Yes. Oh. What Come on, I... give it to him. Rick he's, can he's... shoot. He's oh. disconnected. He's already disconnected. Yeah, but maybe just contact him, Fabi. I think that would be... That would be fair. Maybe write him on Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Just... For just an MOV? Him. Yeah. Yes, for MOV, because this could matter if they make it to um, the next stage or not. Because the crap bucket group E really wants to make it complicated and thrilling. But Fabi, you did well. Yep. You took the initiative from the start of the game and you forced it down their throat. You put them with the back to the wall and you killed them. So, so, uh, so uh, I can roll for him. You look like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it a blind. No. Anyway. <laughs> Did you uh, didn't get him on Discord? Because it, it really could matter. So maybe. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, but I can understand him. Man, that first engagement, Fabi. Yeah. He shouted you in the end. Yeah, that that was. Uh... Not it the was... best plan. Oh. Oh. Um, I mean, I had, good, I, had, I had good dice there. Um, yeah, my, but it my, was not my, my reds were really hot, but his green were okay. Uh, I think I did not enough damage on Anakin there with all these dice uh, yeah. and all the shots there. And I had a lot of mods. Okay, he has, he has perceptive, uh, no, he has uh, brilliant no. evasion, which means it's like he has three focus tokens, which is yeah, but the, good. Don't forget, Fabi, it was, he chousted you straight up. And mm -hmm. if you get three shots on an Anakin with stealth device and down to, what was he, two force and no focus, that's your own fault, period. Yeah, but he was jammed, so he couldn't take he the focus. Jammed, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The whole engagement was stacked against him, you punished him for it, and he was removed. The same with Obi. Obi went in there, he was a little too greedy, and he got punished for it. Mm. Okay, with, 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 Obi, with Obi, he was uh, a little bit unlucky with the blank, blanking out there from mm -hmm. range 3, I think. Um, but in the end, I think I had a good engagement, so it was not like... A, completely not deserved uh, the way, oh, but he, we agreed, way. we both agreed that it was uh, a very good engagement for me here. Um, the dice weren't on his side with Obi, Obi died super fast to, I think it was yeah, a sucker shot. Seven too, because don't forget, they have only two green dice. Hmm? It's true. That's, um, that's the difference. This is not an Anakin with stealth device, but yeah, you roll right. like five green dice and hope that enough evades and focus to uh, eyes show up. This is an Obi Wan in Delta Seven B. These are two green dice. If you are too greedy, you die. Period. Yeah. Yeah. And Sakas did, did his job in this game. I yes. think he he made a lot of pressure. Um, I did one or two mistakes uh, or bad maneuvers. It wasn't mistakes basically. It was just a not ideal maneuvers. Uh, like yeah. there, in, where I bumped myself. There I was thinking of. Uh, when I flew here with Suckers uh, in front of the gas cloud, I was I w my plan was to barrel roll Suckers off the, um, away from the gas cloud so that then I that I'm below the gas cloud and can uh, have a little bit of more open dial next turn. And I rem forget that Gamut will just fly into Suckers with the dial I put in there, <laughs> or Suckers will bump into Gamut. I was like, what 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 did I do here? It was like brain fart. <laughs> but that was a case of changing dials. Um, because the first thing I did would have everything would have fit perfectly, um, but then I changed the dial of Gamut and didn't uh, recheck what Sakas has dialed in and uh, was wasn't thinking straight there. Just uh, changing dials is not not uh, almost never a good decision actually. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, most of the time you forget to adjust the others. But you played yeah. very good, Fabian. You, yeah. you really pushed him with the back to the wall. 
Mm, and that's that's the strength of my list here. Out that forcing Rick to keep that disarm token is one yeah. of the best things I saw in X-Wing in the last couple. <laughs> yep. I love that move. The thing is, Suckers, was... Suckers could have shot yes. twice there against Obi-Wan, and I knew that I can shoot twice be, we, uh, with the disarm trick, mm -hmm. especially after he boosted into my yes. arc. I was like, you I can shoot twice now. But you didn't need yeah. I didn't need to, but I had to show it to the stream, like, hey, <laughs> actually, I could shoot twice here, but I but don't this, do it. This is exactly what you did. You played well. You, you got the perfect engagement there for you, not yeah, for yeah. him. And I mean, actually, the aces should be the ones deciding how the game goes. But from the beginning, you applied pressure and you decided where and how what went down. Yeah, but this is how my list uh, flies against aces. I have to do it like this. And this is the... You have to. Yeah. And it, it works quite good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and he decided to roll with it. And that was a mistake. Yeah. You did well. Just you did well. Yeah. I'm happy. Sorry. And so, finally, Lex has some pressure off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think we are back in half an hour. Yes. Uh, for the third. Our captain. Like, yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks, Fabi and oh. Morales, for playing this game. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And we thanks will see you. Mexico team. We love yeah. playing those guys. Yeah. And we will see you in a half an hour on this channel. Uh, Ruffy against um, someone knows. Ruben. I, <laughs> I will. Um, yeah, um, not today. Versus Rebels. <laughs> I'm not prepared anytime. Um, Ruben with Rebels and uh, the classic Heratoni. Ah, yeah. By now, classic. Yeah. Uh, the full thing. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and yeah, take a, a break and we will be back soon. Yeah. See, See you. you.